So this is what I normally do. I've been training parkour for 10 years and it is my biggest passion. But shit happens and I tore my ACL and meniscus and lost hope for a second. But after some thinking, I realized that I could not give up on my dreams and decided to not give up and use this time to level up as much as possible and come back stronger and better than before. This is my journey. Hey guys, so I just had a shower for the first time. It was super nice. So this is how it looks now. I was able to take the bandage off. And now I have this, I don't know what it's called, like stereo strips or something. And they're supposed to stay here for two weeks until the stitches is, is removed. And I only have like um, four different small places, as far as I know. I had the... Uh, ACL and meniscus surgery two days ago. So it happened almost one and a half uh, months ago. I was unlucky on a trampoline and I landed with way too much impact on only one leg and it just snapped completely. I saw four different doctors that all of them said, nah, you just sprained your knee. You can just train on it again. And then two weeks later, it happened again. I snapped it again felt horrible both times super painful I knew it was something so I um, talked with uh, a special doctor that could say like within one minute you could say for sure you have a ACL injury and I didn't get it scanned because he could say for sure that there was a ACL injury and if I want the fastest time for surgery we should just book it, book it as uh, fast as possible and then under the operation he would see exactly how bad is it? Is it only the ACL and so on? And I would just wake up and know what happened. He told me before surgery that if there is possibility for it, he will repair my ACL instead of reconstruct it. And as far as I know, that is possible when when where the ACL is torn. If it's torn really close to the bone, then it's possible with new technology over the last couple of years, it's possible to, to stitch the original ACL back to the bone instead of taking it off and uh, reconstructing it um, and that was possible for me because it was torn off right next to my femur bone uh, my thigh bone so I got it uh, uh, repaired instead of reconstructing it and that's why you probably can't see like a big scar but only four they didn't take a graft from somewhere so uh, but unfortunately, I also had a meniscus uh, injury and they fixed that as well. This is day two post-op operation and it doesn't look that bad. Uh, I've had two really rough nights. Um, I've of course taken a lot of painkillers and some strong medicine, but uh, the nights uh, are that tough. And uh, I'm already started like really, really light stuff rehab 
and that's uh, that's painful man to to try to get the the knee full extended and bend all the way flexed it's uh, it's tough and uh, i have to work on try to activate my um, my thigh and it's just it feels impossible this is the good one i can do i can uh, flex it i try to do the exact same like nothing really happens as they were able to repair my acl instead of reconstructing it um, hopefully that means that my rehab my recovery time will be a lot faster so normally he told me before sur surgery that if they could repair it it would only be around six months without sport or parkour which is what i normally do but if they had to reconstruct it which they do in the most cases, then it would be 12 months without sport and parkour. I'll just wake up and know if he did one or the other. Hopefully it's only six months, but I also had a meniscus injury that they fixed and I don't know if that's gonna get in the way of a faster recovery. Thank you. 
Ja, tak. I hope you enjoyed this video about my recovery from my ACL and meniscus surgery. If any of you have a, a torn ACL and you don't know what to do, then get it scanned and find out if it's possible to repair it instead of a reconstruction and then get the repair if it's possible. And then you'll probably be able to recover as fast as I did if you want to put in the hard work that I also did. If you also want to keep getting updated about my journey back then you should subscribe to my channel because I'll make videos every month until I'm fully back. So peace out.